Hey, <laughs> welcome back to Midday Kentucky. I hope they didn't get that on sound, what you just said, mister. How it are you It was all? clean. Well, I'm just checking. Ish. It was clean. Clean-ish. We'll ask that, clean Cece. Hey, uh... <laughs> Good to be here. Eric Burke's in the hey. studio, everyone. <laughs> We, we know it's a figment of your imagination that you see him do weather every day, uh -huh. yeah. but he's actually at the table. Lisa, of course, the has table. the um, day off. She's a little bit of sad news for mm -hmm. a friend of hers. She's had Haven't a uh, got yeah. to hang out with you guys in a while, though. Both of you attended the Rolex three-day event. I absolutely loved it. Yeah, I had so much It was fun. very it was hot wonderful. on it was Saturday. It was humid. A little yeah. steamy. <laughs> I will say, Katie texts me and said, hey, can I wear a... a um, what did you say, the dress? A maxi dress. A maxi dress. I said, honey, it's raining. <laughs> and then like half an hour later, I'm sweating. It mm -hmm. is so hot. Yeah. It was so steamy. Like the heat was hot. But it was fun and a gorgeous venue. It was my it? first time out there for a real event. I have to say my favorite thing though is everyone brings their dogs. And yeah. I saw so many corgis and just oh. gorgeous oh, dogs. Okay. I was just walking around getting my fix, petting everyone's dogs. The horses were beautiful. Uh, I know you're more into the um, equine scene. Yeah, mm -hmm. I absolutely loved but it. I, I it also, was I got out there very early and watched everyone get their horses ready and just walked around. And I, I used to do three day eventing. Oh, well, yeah, you used to ride. So did, did you yeah. get the itch to kind of get well, back on the horses? They well, say. I didn't get an itch. Ah. You know, but uh, I did get the feeling when the horses would gallop past you in between um, the jumps, I, uh, that sound of the mm -hmm. horse and the rider. I just sort of thought to myself, oh, I sort of miss it a little bit. But I don't want to say too much in case my father decides to send over some horses because when I did tell him that I was moving here to Kentucky, he said to me, he said, great, son, I'll send over some horses because oh. it was his life. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So, no, I'm not getting back into riding. How are you? Hi. Great you, weekend. Your hockey team won. Uh, without me. That's yeah, why they won, my me. friend. No, well, tell uh, Troy what you were doing on Saturday. Have you ever heard of this? The, what is it, truck pull? We went to a truck pull. That was is my that first time going to a truck pull. Were you pull. pulling a truck? Uh, big diesel trucks, they pull a weighted sled. The goal is to go farther than everyone else. Oh. It was, it that was is cool. I, I had a lot of you pulled the trucks? No, no, no. no the, the truck engine, is pulling. The truck engine you oh, know, pulls, pulls the weighted sled. It was awesome. The people, Woodford County Versailles, I had a great night. It was a late night. Wrapped up about 3.30 in the morning or so. So, Ooh. yeah. That was like, a bit late for you. We didn't have anything to do on Sunday, so. No, you didn't. No. Well, fine. You, you, what, lead, what you, you lead such a busy what life. What are you saying? I'm not social. <laughs> I, made it, I made it to lunch. That you was did. my social obligation of the day. Hey, we're going <laughs> to click on this one right now because maybe since you did get home at 3.30 in the morning, you might need nappa size. Sound, yeah, sound this good. could be the workout of this 2017, they're saying. What? Well, you know, we always talk about it. We're kind of struggling to get back on the uh, workout bandwagon. No, well, I've now got the iPad 4 mini I and know. I have YouTube TV. So I'm now walking mm. again. I saw you were back up the gym. You know I need to hit the gym I for know. next month. Don't they but say anyway. if you could read or watch something yeah. not exercising hard enough? Oh, Don't really? That? Yeah, that's what I've heard. Well, yeah, but it's better than not working out at all. True. But it's Raising better than a lot this. Of good points. So I think that this could get me back on the exercise wagon. This is called Napper Size. This is a new workout being offered at a spin studio. It's in London or in England. And so it's a 45 minute class where they say they lower the temperature. Put on relaxing music and move, remove the bikes, put these in, and you nap for 45 minutes. It is starting, started this past weekend, 100 people went and did the napper size. And they is this actual video of the class? This is their promo video, yeah. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. So, <laughs> How but much they is say this? that adults, uh, the, the price is varied based on the time. It, it was like the same as a workout class. It's like going back to boarding school and having everyone sleep in the same room. <laughs> but does this force you to dedicate the time to get a little nap? But why do you have to go to the studio? We could do that at home. But maybe yeah, but you can at home because you're so many distractions. They were stretching first, you notice. Yeah, but a lot of them had, <laughs> a lot of people that signed up were parents that said if they're at home, they can't sleep because their kids are there. So if they are kids with dad or whatever, mom wants to sneak off, take a little nap or something. That's a little cray cray, <laughs> let me tell you. Did you find out how much it was? Did you say? Uh, the price is very, I think it started at $20. Now, uh, I got really excited when I saw it on the, on the <laughs> list of stores. Like, nap or size, that's great. Like, we could work out when we're sleeping, but that's not the case. No, you're just sleeping. I thought they, like, put on this magic suit and yeah. like, worked you out when you were sleeping. Oh. I wish. Oh, that'd be great. Yeah, we should have that. Wish. Yeah. Um, moving right along. <laughs> hey, soon to be married people, before you start oh drafting, out your guest list, you might want to leave a couple extra spots for two very oh. unexpected guests. As multiple sources report, it is now possible for spouses to be to rent 
out therapy llamas for their big day thanks to Instagram wedding sensations, wedding llamas. And the second you see them, you can understand why. I cannot tell you. These are absolutely gorgeous. What oh. a gorgeous way to say Of course, it is Portland, Oregon and Vancouver, Keep Washington areas. Uh, what do we think? I would think it's hilarious. Llama? I would totally do that. If oh, I was would? at a wedding and there was a llama, I, but don't I wouldn't be disappointed. Spit? Yeah, they do. Yeah. yeah. They do. I but like that they're dressed up That's so too. funny. It yeah, so I would cool. totally do this. But I'm not quite sure why they're called wedding therapy llamas. Yeah, I don't know if I would feel therapeutic about it. I would just think it's hilarious. But maybe uh, that's the point, to add in some lighthearted humor when there can be some wedding day dresses. It didn't actually say um, how much they were, which is annoying. Because I just think it's hmm. so cute. Mm -hmm. yeah. I would do it. Well, it's like that goat yoga. There's no reason for what? goats. What? We ran the story back at the Goat you guys yoga? Have terrible memory. We ran the story at the beginning of midday. We have full lives yeah. that require uh, please. once no. we've done a story to I've move moved on, on to nap size. A, a very <laughs> forgetful person. But it's where you do yoga and the baby goats crawl and jump around. We'll have to pull it up oh, for next week. Oh, that's cute. I have to pull it up. Are you sure we did that or you didn't see it on GMA? No, we did it. Oh. I don't uh, remember that. Okay. Oh, you're hey, terrible. Hey, now this is something that you wanted to bring up, Katie, when it's a new app mm -hmm. for pregnant people. Yeah, I think that this is really interesting. Um, this lets the man and the woman find out at the same time if they're pregnant, or the man first, whatever you would decide. So this new pregnancy test, um, it's electronic. It connects with Bluetooth and Wi-Fi to two phones. So it could be the man and the woman, or two men and two women, whatever you want. You can hook them up so everyone finds out at the same time when mm. the results come back. And what I thought was interesting, they're saying a lot of women find out when they're just by themselves that they're pregnant. And then they'll do something cute or funny to reveal it to their spouse or their right. significant other. I got other. you. I got this you. This will enable you to, the woman could take the test and the result pops up just for the man. And maybe he can do a surprise for the woman to let her know. So this is before she finds out? You can pick. Is she peeing on the phone? Well, no, no, no. <laughs> it is I'm a little confused. Well, you missed the beginning. Yeah, okay. No, it, I get. The pregnancy test right. is set up where there's like Wi Fi enabled and Maybe it's like on Bluetooth. Yeah. So the, the, it's a normal test, right. but it will send the results to two phones. But she will also see it as well. No, you can she decide. Can. You, you can, can decide, decide whatever Ooh. you want. But I think it's interesting that you can set it to let the man know and maybe he wants to then surprise. It gives him the time woman. to pack his bags and run. <laughs> That's what I'm That's thinking. Bad. Did a guy Did you really this? ask if they go on the phone? I was a little unsure because of, you know, maybe I sort of tuned out because yeah. it was, I don't know. No, yeah. it's just a regular test, but it I sends the results to two phones. There's, there's not like well, an adapter like the head. Eric, but would you like to know? I know you want to get married and have well, kids. I think it's would an, you like to find it's out? It's an interesting take because you think that the women are always the first ones to yeah. find out. Well, I guess you have to wait for it to do its thing. It's not instantaneous, but yeah, I think it. How long do you have to wait for pregnancy tests? Two, two, two minutes, I think. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's pretty instant, a minute or two. Um, but would you like to find out and then maybe surprise cool. your wife? Yeah, if you could plan something special, you know, right? to I make it a little, you know, because now they do the big reveals. Yeah. That's the big thing now. So. No, that's the reveals on whether the they the are sex. having a boy or a girl. Yeah, but I know yeah. we see those videos all the time um, of women yeah. surprising their husband or they're surprising their family to let them know they're pregnant. Oh, so right. I think this is a cool option to give the man the choice to surprise the woman. I don't know. Really don't. Well, let's ask camera three. Do you, did you surprise everyone? Yes or no? No, he no. didn't surprise anyone. Mm. <laughs> yeah, he's like, no. Nah, I nah, love it. I kind of nah. like it. Okay. I got you. And I, got I like you. that they can set it where they both find out at the same time as well. So that's cool. Okay. Very cool. Uh, Eric, yeah. this is something that uh, I don't know where you're going to go with the story, but let's let it rip. Whether what do kids you mean? should be watching. As, okay, as a parent, yep. do you think that, obviously they're your kids, but do you think you should allow your kids to watch R rated movies or play violent video games? at an age where they're younger than they should be? Because I think R-rated movies, what do they say, 16? I it? think it's 18 for... 18 maybe? Well, that's it? to get in, get in by yourself, I think. With 16, yeah, they have parent approval. Right. Like they actually have to go to the ticket oh. window. So, according to... No, that's PG. PG-13? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so according to debate.org, 68% of parents allow their children to watch R-rated films. 32% say no. And uh, I'm trying to think when my parents finally said, you know, watch whatever you want. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of under the impression it's your kid. You can expose them to whatever you feel is okay. Um, I'm trying to think, Katie, when did you, when was your first well, memory? Well, you didn't say what yours was. 
Oh, I, I mean, if you have a nightmare, that's your fault. You asked to watch it. Sorry. So you watched whatever you wanted? No, not until a certain age. Which was? Or, well, there was a, I'm trying to think, probably about 12, maybe, 13. You know, you go to sleep over at your friend's house, and then it's, you know, oh. all hands off. Katie, can you remember? Um, I'd say I'm still a scaredy cat. I don't watch scary movies, Neither but I, I certainly was not allowed to as a child. But my dad is so into Disney. I was still watching, like, cartoon Disney movies with mm -hmm. him in high school. And now I have his Netflix account so that I don't pay for mine. But I'll log into his and all the recommendations say, uh, because you watched Dumbo, we recommend Mulan and Aladdin and all these things. <laughs> oh and those gosh. are on my dad's account. So my family was very PG and still is. Yeah, I so I, I don't know. I have to be honest with you. I, I don't think kids should be, look, the thing is, is they're going to do it whether you, you get them to do it or not, really. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? And it's just, Video games or movies, the video games are out there that are violent already, mm -hmm. and also the movies are just as bad, man. Mm -hmm. like I remember, I watched... Uh, what are I the stats on video I games? I watched Anaconda when I was young, and it traumatized me for a while, I'm not going to lie. Um, anyways, okay, video games. Uh, I'm a big video game fan, Troy, I know you laugh at that, but I enjoy it. I don't really remember... Oh, no, it doesn't surprise remember me. Remember... <laughs> <laughs> I hate doesn't, you so much. It doesn't sometimes. surprise me either. Okay, uh, the stats are very similar. This one's actually... <laughs> A little bit more balanced. Sixty percent say yes, they'll let their kid play violent video games. Forty percent say no, they don't want them playing. And you know the argument has been, oh, if you're exposed to violent video games, you're going to be violent as a person. I've always been under the impression it's virtual. You don't have to reenact what you're doing. Like, do I want my kid playing Grand Theft Auto at a young age? Probably not. You know, I played a lot of sports games and kid-related games. Now and now, you see more kids are playing the shooting games. And you don't know what Grand Theft Auto is, but it's a... Uh, <laughs> you know what? I have to be honest with you. Game. You have gone completely over my head. I'm sorry, because this is relevant to a lot up, of... I know. I grew up in a time where we didn't play video games and we didn't play computers, and not because we didn't have them. We were always told to go out and enjoy, mm -hmm. like, ride, and, and we had motorbikes and canoes and all sorts of things that we did outside. I don't get why parents put the kids down in front of a video game and or the kids doing it on their own. When I, I was young, I only had a certain amount of time. I think it was 30 minutes to an hour per right. day. Most of the time was spent outside, which has changed drastically. Okay. But at hmm. at least, right. you know. I gotcha. I don't really like the games that are, um, they're interacting shooting at at too young of yeah, age. I, I think, think that's different than seeing it on TV. I think, like, you can only censor it so much for your kids, mm -hmm. but I am surprised that some of the just violent video games out there. And yeah. of course, I don't have kids, so I don't know the pressures of, you know, letting them do those games, but I think acting something out is different than well, just Well, especially it in the like movie. with with the violent video games, the parent would have to buy it for them cuz they can't get it yeah. on Not their necessarily. own. Not well, necessarily. Well, you can play it at a friend's I think we all agree okay. that it's kids are a certain age shouldn't mm -hmm. be doing it. Agree? I, I agree. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's move on to what you think is what what is the latest trend i should say not what oh, you okay. think the latest trend out there for when it comes to wedding dresses we're just going to quickly bring them up and it's more of a tie dip that is the conversation that is happening right now where people are dipping the wedding dresses not mm. only in darker colors Whoa. but all these brighter colors and i don't know what I do you guys like think i kind of like it it's different you know you the do. traditional white really you know this I don't like it. I like the first one. What was that? Glitter or something? No, I like no, no, that. No, that was like a, a like a dirty, muddy color. Where uh -huh. are the other pictures that we've got coming up as well? You know, there's the first one. Now, that is that sort of like at. a patterned dress? Oh, and then I thought they, that was lacy. Lacy, yeah. yeah. Oh. The technical. It's term. more of an ombre they call. Like, I don't that like the red. Even look like a wedding dress. I don't like the red. No, yeah. I don't like it. You know, I think I look. I'm very traditional. I like a wedding dress to be simple, classic. Oh, look, see, look at this one. It doesn't that, even yeah. look like wedding dress. I like the color one. This Mind one you, I'm starting the... to think, did our producer, who's a guy, actually Pick find <laughs> the right wedding dress? The dresses? worst one. <laughs> that doesn't, I don't really like that just as a dress in general, but it certainly doesn't look like a yeah, wedding dress. He's actually know. laughing at it. Yeah. You lied to me about this segment. You told me it was laugh. about sisters not being invited <laughs> to wedding. <laughs> <laughs> Save that for tomorrow. Love story. Save. Hey, everyone, after this show. We